Not great. Welcome to RC News Flash, where I talk about some of the RC product news that have grabbed me over the last week. We start off with Proline. They have announced a new short course truck body shell. It is the Dodge Ram 1500 1984. And being Proline, it is well proportioned, accurately detailed, and judging by the uh, Chevy C10 I have on my Triple X SCT, it's going to be, of, if it's of the same ilk, it'll be plenty strong enough for bashing. Um, it costs, well the retail price is a fraction under 50 US dollars and it comes in clear polycarbonate that you have to paint yourself, of course. Sticking with Proline, do you feel that your Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive is not strong enough? Not a claim that a lot of people will make, but uh, however, if you do, uh, Proline has your back because they have released the Pro Arms kit for the Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive. You get the front arm kit and the rear arm kit. They are um, straight replacements, there's no need to alter anything. You take the old Traxxas ones off, you put the new Proline ones on, no problems at all. Black plastic arms with uh, smooth bottoms to slide over rocks and debris, etc. Uh, with uh, stone grey, they call it stone grey strengthening plates that are bolted on. And then these stone grey strengthening plates are apparently uh, able to be dyed or painted to make it, you know, however you like your truck to look. Um, like I said, you get the rear ones and the front ones are sold separately. Each kit retails at 20 US dollars or a fraction under 20 US dollars. You can get them cheaper right now. And uh, yeah, if you feel like your tracks of slash is not tough enough, you can make it tougher. So, yeah, good. Incidentally, Proliner have also announced several different wheel and tyre combinations for different scales and different types of vehicle. I'm not going to bore you by talking about wheels and tyres, but uh, the link to the Proline website will be in the description, so feel free to check them out. Moving on to LFR, Lead Finger Racing. They have a range of 1 8 truggy racing body shells called the Strife shell. There's a Strife shell for the Associated, there's a Strife shell for the Lossy, you name it. They've released one for the HB Racing D817T. Apparently D817T owners were previously using the Associated body shell, which was the closest in fit, but didn't quite fit right. So now they have one specifically for that HB Racing truck. It's obviously clear polycarbonate, you paint it yourself, and it retails at... 40 US dollars and 50 US cents. But you can get it cheaper right now. <laughs> News from Italian manufacturer WRC Racing. WRC stands for World Racing Car. So does that mean they're called World Racing Car Racing? Anyway, they've announced the SBX1 off-road racing buggy, which is the first time they've branched into off-road. They're known for extremely high-end competitive on-road racers. So this is a first for them. They have given no information whatsoever. They've simply put two teaser pictures of the front end up on their Facebook page. It's not even, these photographs aren't even on their own website, it's just on their Facebook page. So I'll put a link to that. There's no information at all, just these two teaser pictures. Um, but you can tell looking at the pictures, they're extremely high-end. Um, you've got obviously fully adjustable everything with carbon fiber. It looks like an alloy shock tower. Um, which would be which would be normal um, lovely big bore shock absorbers alloy alloy bodied uh, adjustable fully adjustable with uh, threaded thread caps uh, you know just lovely lovely looking machine but no information if you are looking for a 1 8 racing buggy I would keep tabs on that website or on their Facebook page and see they'll probably trickle out information as the release date approaches so yeah looks good Yuck, and finally, going on to today's main event, Axial have announced a new SCX-10 2. It is called the SCX-10 2 UMG-10 6x6, because it's six-wheel drive. They call it the UMG-10 because they're not allowed to call it the Unimog, because they don't have the license to call it the Unimog. It's clearly a Unimog, that's awesome. Um, yes, you don't have to convert your SCX-10 or SCX-10 2 into 6x6 yourself anymore. Axial have done it for you. It's ready to run. They were asked if they were going to do a kit. Their answer was 
which means yes, absolutely means yes, they're going to release a kit, of course they are. In the meantime, you've got a sort of dark grey coloured Unimog, I mean UMG-10, and it comes with a 35 turn brushed motor, full spectrum radio gear, and a 3S compatible ESC with optional drag brake, fully adjustable suspension, coilovers, and seven wheels and tyres because it has a fully functioning spare and they are all 1.9 sized beadlocks. Furthermore, the Unimo I mean UMG-10 comes with a, a extended SCX2 ladder chassis. It comes with the bomb-proof SCX2 all-metal gearbox and some really nice details such as it comes with four LEDs included, two red, two white, but it has multiple mounting points for more LEDs, more light buckets, etc. and an alloy servo horn. Lots of little details make up for quite a compelling package. However, like I said before, if you're interested in building one yourself, it probably, very likely, they'll release a kit because they didn't say yes, they didn't say no, they only said meh, which is kind of yes in uh, in company speak, isn't it, really? So, the retail price is 499 US dollars. You can get it cheaper, 450 in some places. Um, the Retail price in the UK is £449. I don't know if you can get it cheaper. I um, haven't found anything yet. Finally, on last week's RC News Flash video, a subscriber called Lawrence Tim suggested that I make a shout out to whatever was my favourite RC video that I saw over the last seven days. And I do that every week. I think that's a great idea. I will do that every week. Thank you. But I'm also going to do a couple other things. I'm also going to uh, put up a link to whatever was my favourite YouTube video regardless of topic over the last seven weeks I've seen and I'm going to make a shout out to one person. And so my favourite RC YouTube video for the last seven days was on Mateo's RC Movies uh, of his uh, RC sailboat Windrose on its Mediterranean cruise. My favourite YouTube channel video regardless of topic was on uh, Hill Climb Monsters, because I'm a big motorsport fan, of the 310 horsepower, over 9,000 RPM Alfa Romeo 156 doing Hill Climb. What a noise! Obviously, I got a soft spot for 156s because I own one, but what a beast! And finally, my shout out for this week is for Lawrence Tim himself for suggesting I do this because it's a great idea. Thank you, Lawrence. All right, everybody, take care of yourselves. That's it for me. We'll see you as soon as possible. Cheerio!